Hi, I'm Vivia Gugnani. Set in historic San Francisco, California, the original Michael Mina restaurant combines classical French technique with California seasonal cuisine. So let's go behind the burner and meet the chef. I'm here with chef Jeremy Rabbits. Jeremy, I see soft shell crab. What are you making for me? Today we're gonna make a uh, pan seared soft shell crab with a sweet corn crepe, uh, melon relish, and a lobster curry sauce. Well, sounds delicious. Let's get going. Okay. So here we have our, our ingredients uh, laid out here. These are the, the crabs. We'll start with that. Uh, these come from the East Coast. Uh, it's a soft shell crab. Uh, this happens at certain times of the year where they, they lose their uh, hard shell. And I'm gonna show you real quick uh, just how to clean one of these. Flip it over, yeah. and there's a little piece on the back there. You take your scissors, snip that off. Lift up each side, and there's some gills under there. Snip off each of those on both sides, right across the eyes here. You just take that right off. So that's the technique. You that's the technique. Snip off and the gills, snip off the front. Household scissors work fine. You don't have to have any fancy kitchen scissors. That's true. Okay. Your crab is uh, it's cleaned and it's ready for the pan. Okay, then for our, for our crepes, uh, we have a, a standard crepe here. We made these in the restaurant, but they're real easy to buy in the store, already mm -hmm. made. Uh, if, if you'd like to make them yourself, there's a, there's a recipe that we've included for the crepe batter. Our filling for this is uh, what we call corn pudding. So this is, uh, this is corn that we've run through a juicer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just cook this down and the natural starches in the corn, we'll thicken it up. And then we fold it in some cooked corn kernels for this. If you don't have a juicer at home, you, could, uh, you can just scrape the corn off the cob and just use the, the whole corn uh, just cooked down and it'll thicken up on its own. And then just a little spoonful of this right down the middle of the crepe. And you just fold this up like a little uh, like a little burrito. I like that. And then these crepes here, we'll just warm these up in the oven. Just general temperature around 325. Uh, a little butter over the top of it helps to keep it from drying out. And how long do you put it in there? It'll take about 10 minutes to warm up. Perfect. OK, then we have our relish ingredients here. We've got a, a galia melon, a green flesh melon, and then uh, some red watermelon, and uh, fresh mint. Just mix that up. How do you pick a melon? I, I just go by smell. smell you get and, uh, that beautiful perfume aroma from the melon, you know it's ready yeah, to go. Yeah, and a little softness uh, where, the, um, where the stem went into it. That'll help as well. Okay, a little salt in here. When you and that's put ready salt to go. on a melon, you're drawing the moisture out, right? Is it going to water a little bit? Which is a good thing. It kind of creates its own sauce for it. Two sauces that we have here. Uh, one is some of that corn juice that I was talking about. We don't cook this down quite as far. And then if it starts to get a little too tight on you, you can take a little coconut water and thin that down. And then our other sauce is a uh, this is a curry sauce. So with this sauce, we uh, we use some lobster stock, which gives us the the bright orange color. And then uh, we use coconut fat. So with these with these cans, in order to separate the the milk and the, the fat, we freeze the can. That's so just that's a fat. great trick. You exactly. just take the coconut container. Stick it in the freezer. When it comes out, you're gonna see something that's kind of lighter white, which is gonna be the liquids like the coconut water. Right. And then the coconut solid, bright white, is gonna be the coconut fat. Exactly. So you can use them both for different preparations. So you just take a knife and even split it right in half. The, the two will fall apart. So then the, the fat, we, we add that to our lobster stock and then simmer it with, uh, with Asian aromatic ingredients. Water is great for adjusting consistency of, of anything else you have. Uh, so here we have a, a, a flour mixture here. Um, you may have actually seen this with Michael before. This is a, a little tapioca, tapioca flour, flour in there. I exactly. Knew, I, yeah. I knew it. So our pan, we want to get this hot, and then a uh, little oil in there. And you know the oil is hot when it's sort of dancing and translucent, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. OK, so we have our crab here. We're going to season this guy up here first. Both sides, always both sides. And then we'll just. Drop it in our flour there. Shake off the excess. Exactly. The thing about soft shell crabs is that uh, once uh, once they heat up inside, they like to explode on you. So be careful with this one. How long on each side? About a about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. So the key to making it not stick is having a hot pan, right? Hot pan, a little oil in the bottom before you add your food in there. So now we're ready to plate. So we're going to start with our sauces. So just a little swirl of that on the plate, and then we'll just lay our crepe right across there. So the crab will just lay that right across the top of the crepe. And then our relish spooned over the top. I'm ready to eat. Sweetness of the corn, a little bit of the curry, crunch of the crab. A lot, of, a lot of richness going on in this dish with the curries, the coconut fat, the crab itself. The melon's great because it cools everything out. And with the mint and the acidity of the melon, it's good to cut through everything there as well. It is. Thanks so much for having us. You're welcome. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.